I was even consulting a dietitian and following a very strict and honestly triggering meal plan. Diet culture is an entire belief system that associates food with morality and thinness with goodness. And it's rooted in the very colonial belief that every individual has full control and responsibility over their health. No, 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 that is woke propaganda. Everyone knows being fat is unhealthy and anyone can lose weight by focusing on diet and exercise. Calories in, calories out. It is not that hard. Okay, well, I'm glad that works for your body, but here's how that went for me. This way of thinking challenges us to look in the mirror and say, yep, that's my body, and finally celebrate its existence for what it can do, not for how it looks. And when it comes to food, that same logic should apply. A carrot isn't an inherent good food, while chocolate is an inherent bad food. Food is just food, no matter how many calories, carbs, sugars, whatever is in it. Unless you have life-threatening allergies or dietary restrictions to follow, you should feel free to eat whatever food you want to without beating yourself up about it. This is like a parody. I just want you to think about this. She went to someone to give her a diet to help her lose weight. She paid this person to make her a diet so she could lose weight. And she says she was triggered by the diet that she was given. What does the word triggered even mean in this context? You were offended? It triggered PTSD or something? Like what, did a girl in school give you a meal plan? What does that even mean? That was supposed to be for something, you know, triggering severe traumatic experiences, right? Like a, a flashback to the war or something, and now people, well, and people for the past decade or two have been using it on Tumblr to talk about anything that in any way offends them. That's not, uh, and whatever, nothing means anything. Let's just continue. Okay, so she says you shouldn't judge food based on the way it looks, as if that's why people think carrots are healthier than eating chocolate. Because they're just racist and they like the color orange or something. Like, it doesn't make any sense, dude. This logic is baffling. But no, actually, eating candy, chocolate, marshmallows, all those sorts of things, you know, <laughs> having s'mores, that's actually less healthy than eating vegetables like uh, carrots, for instance. It is less healthy. That's why it's called junk food. It's less healthy because of what it contains. She's saying not to worry about how much sugar something has. You should think about that. You shouldn't have too much sugar. It's not good to have tons and tons of sugar and a ton of calories and, of course, to not actually get any nutrition from things you're eating. It's not healthy. That's actually the nutritional content of food is what people are judging it based on. And that's why they say you shouldn't have a bunch of chocolate, but you can have some carrots if you want to because they're, they're carrots. The wood, they're vegetables. What? She's trying to tell her audience, which I would think is mostly teenagers, right? Kids, teenagers, whatever. You would think that you can just eat whatever. And just eat candy and have whatever amount of chocolate you want. You don't have to eat vegetables. Just eat candy. It's all just food, guys. Processed, sugary food. It's all pretty much the same as eating vegetables <laughs> and fruits and meat. It's all pretty much the same. No, it's not. This is not helping people. The main thing that kills people in America, whether you're black or you're white or whatever, is obesity. She's not giving actual information, but she's presenting it as if she is. As if she's educating people, as if this is some sort of educational content rather than just complete bullshit. Okay, I guess it's politically driven. I don't know why, like, left-wing Western people for some reason are obsessed with eating processed food and pretending that being really overweight is healthy or something. It didn't used to be like this. It used to be that, like, the left-wing people were saying eat vegetables and everything, and then it changed. It, it was weird. Next, she puts in a clip about calories in, calories out. She uses the devil's advocate, but it's really just a straw man. Okay. That she doesn't actually address. <laughs> she doesn't actually answer anything. So this person says she's woke. And that this is propaganda. And she has this character, this devil's advocate or straw man, whatever, say that calories in, calories out is what matters. And that if you just consume less calories than you're burning each day, then you'll lose weight. That your body will burn fat. And that's how it works. That's reality. That's science. That's objective reality. There's nothing... There's no way around it. That's just basic biology. It is impossible not to burn fat if you're consuming less calories than you're burning. But instead of actually addressing this, she just says, well, maybe that works for you or your body or somebody's body, but here's how it went for me. No, that's just reality. There's no way around it. That's objective... What is this? She tells a whole story 
And even in her story where she's apparently trying to show how she couldn't lose weight, she refutes it. She somehow doesn't notice this, though, or she thinks her audience is too stupid to understand it. You can decide which it is, whether she thinks she's manipulating people or she really just doesn't grasp basic addition and subtraction. She says she put on muscle, right? She's been running and doing workouts, right? Lifting weight. Her arms, her legs, her torso, every part of her body, she's putting on muscle. She was out of shape. She goes to the gym for a month and she stays at the same weight. And then eventually she says she went to the gym for two months and that she was lifting so much weight that she was lifting almost as much as her personal trainer. If we believe this story, then she was really out of shape and put on a lot of muscle. And then she says she didn't lose weight. So if she's the same weight as she was when she didn't have much of any muscle, right? She didn't work out and she had a higher percentage of body fat. And then she put on a bunch of muscle, but also didn't put on weight or lose weight. That means she did lose fat and she gained muscle. So she did lose weight because obviously when you want to lose weight, if you're choosing to go lift weights, you want to lose body fat and put on muscle. So she did what she tried to do. It was working. She paid someone to train her and it worked. And she says that because the weight on the scale didn't go down, that means she didn't lose weight. And I don't understand how she didn't use a scale that measures body fat percentage. That if you gain muscle, even just a couple pounds of muscle, but your weight didn't go up and it didn't go down, then that means you did lose body fat, even without measuring your body fat percentage, which she could do with a scale or with calipers or something. She didn't for some reason. But she's still pushing this as proof that she can't lose weight and it's impossible to lose weight, you know, to lose body fat, which she for some reason won't focus on. She doesn't ever say what she weighed. She never says her body fat percentage before or after. It's just nonsense. So whether you believe she's lying about this whole story or you think that she's telling the truth and she just doesn't understand basic math, you can decide. But this is the sort of thing millions of people, I would assume teenagers, are watching. And it's ridiculous. Like, you're literally just making people, making people's eyes worse if they believe anything you're telling them. And then she somehow tries to tie wanting to lose weight or not being fat into colonialism. Yes, she says it's about colonialism. Maybe I've already shown you the clip, but it's absurd. Yes, the only reason somebody wouldn't want to be 100 pounds overweight or something is because of colonialism, the evil white man. They went to all the different continents, they went to Asia, they went to Africa, they went all over the world, and they taught people to not be fat. Before that, they were all really heavy, but the white man gave them a diet and a workout that really works, and they all got in really good shape. And now the white man, having become so progressive, is uh, trying to undo his sins and make everybody really fat. And we have to get them to eat chocolate instead of eating vegetables, so that they can... Uh, be healthier or whatever. I, I don't know. They won't feel bad because of our colonialism. Uh, what is this? She shoves it into everything. Every point she makes, like every segment of all these videos I've seen, even just a couple videos, every section is somehow about racism or, or like people having some sort of culture that attacks like heavy people or this or that. Everything. Everything is somehow about oppression and racism something is it's somehow tied into this it's absurd i i really don't understand this and she's talking about eating diet bars and restrictive diets and how she had to go to all these doctors and everything and you don't need to go to people to make a meal plan for you or to tell you to work out or how to work out or what to eat or how much to eat you can just use a bmi calculator just use it for free type it online how many calories do you burn you put in your height your weight your gender and level of activity. And you can see how many calories you should be burning just period, right? Just for existing. And as long as you eat a couple hundred under that, you'll lose weight. And if you don't have some sort of problem, right? Like you can just not eat for a day or two. You can just try fasting. It's impossible for you to not eat for three days, only drink water, nothing else, and still not lose weight. You're gonna lose weight. It's, there's no, you don't need to wait for several months and hope you have to eat less calories than you're burning. So whether or not you increase your workout intensity, it's just about what you're eating. It's just about what you're consuming. How many calories are you getting? Like, that's it. That's all it is. That's what people have done. You don't need to be... Like, I don't understand this. This woman has a ton of money, apparently, right? 
She's going to all these doctors and and getting people to make meal plans for her and getting a personal trainer, going to the gym, getting all these special things and taking classes for all this just to lose weight, just to exercise a bit. Most people don't spend all that money trying to lose weight or work out or something. Most people now or throughout history, they just didn't eat as much food. Just try not to eat the foods that make you heavy. Like, we know how many calories are in things. We know how much sugar and everything. But that doesn't even matter. Obviously, you should try to eat healthier. But the point is, you can literally just count the calories. Just don't have as many calories or just don't eat for a few days and you'll lose weight. And just fast for a bit. Drink water. You have infinite free water at the tap. What? What is this? I don't understand how these people go on about being triggered by getting a diet they paid someone to give them. And they spend all this money and effort apparently doing this and make it some huge thing when it's just like, dude, just don't eat for a couple days then. The only reason that doesn't usually work is because you'll probably just start eating again after that and put it back on. Permanently change what you're eating instead of just a crash diet, just... Stop eating junk food, period. Just don't, just stop eating junk food. Stop eating a bunch of chocolate or candy or whatever. Okay, she brought it up in this video. Or if you still like to eat, then you could try putting on some muscle because then you have lean body mass. So if you end up being about the same weight as you were before when you lost 10 pounds of fat and you put on the muscle, now you're still burning the same calories, at least the same amount of calories, but you're healthier. You have a lower body fat percentage. That's why people put on muscle, aside from just wanting to have the muscle, wanting to be stronger. Because it helps you burn calories just passively as long as you maintain that muscle. Just a bizarre lack of any actual useful information, any numbers, any logic, even. And all they manage to put in there is weird political diatribes, you know. Explanations about how people want to lose weight because of colonialism or something, and how... <laughs> I guess it's really right-wing to say that calories in, calories out, is it works? That that's how you lose weight? What is this?